with an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's National League South match against Tunbridge Angels. Aggie, how are you feeling ahead of this one? Excited again. Uh, looking forward to getting back to league action. Um, looking forward to hopefully building on three wins. Um, yeah, I'd, most perhaps most importantly, right, three, um, say two of the three performances have been very good um, or uh, significantly improved from what we've seen previously. So, uh, yeah, that would be, be the big thing, just trying to build build on what we've seen in those. You know, the East Preston game was a bit of a non-event, to be honest, but the, the two previous games against Plymouth and, um, and Welling, I thought there was a marked improvement, which is good. So, looking to build on those. Yeah, and it's three wins in a row in all competitions now. So, I guess the main thing is looking to build momentum as you head into a busy... October, November period. Yeah, oh, we're looking forward to it. Though I mean, it's um, I, I like Saturday, Tuesday. I like the I like the fact we're going to have a game every few days because, um, as you said, it's a good opportunity to really build a bit of momentum and um, you know make a real impact on the league table, um, especially on the Tuesday night against Torquay, where hopefully we'll be in a position where if we win that, we go three points off top, which is which is positive considering. As I've reiterated, we're nowhere near our best. So, um, yeah, no, just look forward to a busy month of football where we're going to need the whole squad to be at their um, at their best level and ready to contribute. And looking at Tunbridge's opponents, what is it you can expect from them? Uh, they've had a really good start, a good side. They've got some really good individuals. Uh, they play a real mixed game as well. Um, you know, they can pass it and play through lines and, and um, play through the thirds. But equally, they're, they're good at mixing it and um, going a bit more back to front and putting you under pressure. I think they're a really good side. They're one of the best sides we've seen and I think that's reflected in their, their good start. So, uh, But I, th I think, to be honest, the league's really competitive, uh, as the league table suggests. Um, I don't think there's any easy games as much as it's a cliche and um, Tunbridge will provide a real uh, tough test. Um, which it feels like every week. So, um, you know, it's just just about us and us reaching our best level or working towards our best level and, and showing the same level of intensity and um, aggression and a bit more defensive robustness that we've seen over the past week or so. I think if we can deliver that, couple that with our, uh, you know, our, our, you know decent... Uh, attacking approach where we've produced some really good moments. I think if we can continue to sort of marry those two things together, we'll be uh, we'll be in a good place. Just coming away from league action for a second, obviously a big win in the FA Cup last mm -hmm. weekend. You've now been drawn at home to Mor League Two side Morecambe mm -hmm. um, in the next round of the FA Cup. What were your thoughts on that? Uh, I think it's uh, it's a good draw. Obviously, like you want to you want to get the prestige of uh, football league club. Um, and if you can, you, know, you can have them at home, great. Um, but also, you look at their uh, league position; they're not enjoying the best start. So, I think it's a draw that's got a bit of everything. As I said, it's got the prestige of a football league club. But also, you've got the feeling that if we can, uh, if we can do us very well and we continue to sort of improve like we have been, um, you know, we, we we look forward to. We look forward to the challenge, and we're quite confident that you know we can uh, we can win the game. And looking back to this Saturday, then the the team going into this, I think there's one suspension in the squad. Sam Beard. Yeah. Uh, anyone else missing? Um, we've got a couple of touch and goes. Wads has come out of training tonight, which is disappointing. Um, Joe Cook as well has finished training early, which is frustrating because he's uh, I think he's played a key role in. Um, our improved performances over the past couple of weeks, um, so we need to reassess them. Um, but equally, likes of Tommy Willard, um, Jack Bates have uh, trained very well. Young Arthur, who's come into uh, the first team squad, um, has trained very well as well. So it looks like we we could be missing one or two. Um, but equally, the the players that are sort of um, competing for those positions are, are in a good place and, and uh, you know I've certainly posed a couple of questions tonight of how well they've trained which is which is a good place to be.